neat little trick to hang parts that you can't hang on to. How am I supposed to hold that? I can't hold it there, then I'm gonna have a finger mark, you know? So there you go. Well, I got most of this scuffed here, and uh, it's all pretty much ready. What I'm doing is, is I'm scuffing it. Helps the paint it here a lot better. This is either Norton or Carborundum. It's those are the two that I use, whatever my place has in stock when I go by there. I love the, the maroon pad. I like these Nortons. I think they're great. The Carborundums, they're, they're great, you know. The reds are about 400 grit, which should be more than fine enough to where you shouldn't see it with any kind of base coat, clear coat system. Uh, I, I remember a long time ago, they told me that you really shouldn't go over 400 grit. You know, maybe those guys that are selling million dollar cars or doing, you know, concourse restorations, or they want to do that Bugatti, maybe they're doing the 600 or 800 or 1,000 grit, I don't know, but for me, it's like if you're sanding it so fine that it can just be polished out, then maybe maybe it's just not even not even sanding it anymore. Now you're just polishing it again, you know? My plan is to use these to hold it so I can paint it. Something that, that they don't show you on regular TV shows about cars is the prep cleaner. You know, you really have to use prep cleaner to kind of clean everything. And then it makes everything kind of bite a lot better. It gets rid of all the wax and grease. It's also called wax and grease remover. There's many different ones out there, and I know I talk about this a lot, but you definitely need it. All right, so because I couldn't get these things to hang a certain way, you know, I missed some spots, right? So I had to try to figure out a way to do that. And in the other parts, I could grab a little clamp and I can hold it. But in here, what I need is some kind of spreader. So what I came up with is a kind of a neat little solution that you can do at home. You take and bend a little piece. These pieces are about six inches long or so. Put a little bend on the end, because you need something to be able to grab that lip on there. All right, now we're gonna poke a little hole in here. Take our little hole punch, or you can use a drill if you don't have one of these. These things come in very handy. You definitely should get one if you don't have one, if you can afford it. And then uh, go down a little bit further to about right here, and we'll take another hole. Now we'll bend this the same way. So you have that one facing up. We're gonna have this one facing up. And then we just take this and bend it in the middle to where it's gonna catch in there. And now we put a little bolt right in there. So you use your wrench to kind of hold it, and then you run the other one through. Once you get it started, put your other one on the other side, like that. All right. So what that does is it creates a little little, little, little choke point. Kind of open this up and kind of make it bend in there better. And then once you're inside that groove, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, another hole in here. So if we hang this like this, see how it kind of hangs down? So we know this is the heavy end. So let's move it down a little bit the other way. What we can do is we can just kind of slide this along ourselves and see where it balances. Now I can hold this while I paint it. I get nice access to everything and then I can hang it when I'm done. And now I'll do that for all the rest of the pieces. Neat little trick to hang parts that you can't hang on to. How am I supposed to hold that? I can't hold it there then I'm gonna have a finger mark, you know? So there you go. All right, so this is the Spectre 9789. This is my turbo inlet. It's five and three quarter inches. It's got a little spacer for the light. This is going to be my turbo inlet for my 69 Chevelle twin turbo. This thing is so nice. Oh man, it's going to be so cool. Let me put it on and show you what it looks like on the car. Yeah, so that's a little sneak preview of what that's going to be. There's my turbo inlet on one side. Going to have another one over there. Bing bong. Let's get together. Let's get it together.